So this is the box, I'm going to open it up now. It's well packaged, you'll need to put it on the floor, use both hands. I actually did it sideways so I didn't risk dropping it. Wow, right that's all unpacked, it took me literally two to three minutes. It looks like there's different speeds for different fruits and vegetables so I need to pay attention to that. If you have an edible peel on fruits like mangoes, it says you need to peel them first. There's a warranty card inside, recipes in the back of the book for juices as well as ways to use the pulp. I have given everything a really good rinse to make sure that any manufacturing chemicals have been removed. I've bought absolutely tons of fruit and vegetables so that I can try both the dual juicing disc and also the pureeing attachment as well. If it stops you from seeing the doctor and paying for medicines, then it's all good. Line up the arrows, press it down. Now I'm going to put the lid on top. Put the jug underneath to collect the fibre. Put a plastic bag in which makes cleaning easier as they've advised in their booklet. Finally you need to lift up the lever which locks everything in place. Place the lid on like this. Take the protector off and then slot the jug in place. I'm really pleased with how easy it all is so far. Let's try juicing some apples. The instruction manual says that apples need setting 5. I'm going to turn it on now for the first time. Pretty noisy. It does say that you're meant to wait for the motor to get to full speed before you start putting the fruit in. So let's give it a go. So that's the juice coming out just from one apple and I'm really quite impressed with how much has come out. The apple pulp is like, it's really soft and dry like powder, it's completely different to my gear juices that I used to have so I'm massively impressed so far. So I just had it running for, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds at most and it's given me all this juice and it's been super fast. I'm going to try some cabbage now and add a little bit of cucumber and lime in. Cabbage needs setting four. And so does cucumber with a soft skin. Lime and grapefruit and lemons aren't mentioned so I'm going to use the same setting as oranges which is three. If you want the cloudy apple juice you're going to have to stir the froth back in so to speak. It's given me about a thousand mils a litre of juice from 10 small apples which is quite literally double what I used to get. So slightly bizarre um, experience of the juice separating in this way which I didn't used to get with my gear juicer but I'm just going to stir it in. I've just juiced some grapefruit and pineapple which has given me a good amount of juice. I want to have a go at pureeing the raspberries now so I've got the fruity disc in. I need setting one That looks well pureed. There was still quite a bit of puree left in the filter bowl, so you just need to scoop that through. This is what's left underneath the lid, which just needs um, putting into the collector. Once you take the jug away and it stopped spinning, it isn't still dripping, so it's actually quite neat and tidy. Everything rinses off so easily. The hardest bit to clean is the dual disc, because you really have to make sure that you clean all of the bits away. It's a very fine mesh and as advised in the instruction book, you don't want to leave anything to dry and get clogged in there. 
because then it will make your juicing less efficient. Today I went for beetroot, apple, carrot and ginger. It was really fast to do, including juicing and the washing up. It was less than 10 minutes. You don't need too much room on your counter. The width wise, a bit less than your toaster and obviously you need enough height. If you keep the jug and the fibre container separately in the cupboard, and it looks really nice too. My first impressions are that it's absolutely brilliant. It was really easy to use, easy to clean, and it's going to be a huge time saver and make juicing a much more pleasurable experience. I will post another video if anything else crops up with 